is as bad as the experts feared. Hurricane Ian has made landfall in Florida, and the experts say if you had plans to leave and haven't, stay where you are. Five miles per hour winds, 18 foot waves, epic destruction. We take a look at the cars now. They're all bunched into each other over there. The wind continues to ramp up. But we're going to get smashed here. There are down trees literally everywhere, all over this area. This is Fort what Myers Beach as a barrage of wind and water slammed the city. Hurricane Ian, said to orig originally make landfall in Tampa, made a rapid turn towards Fort Myers and Sanibel Island, leaving many with only a few hours notice. The devastation of Hurricane Ian felt on southwest Florida is unspeakable. Nearly 400 buildings were destroyed or damaged on Fort Myers Beach. It is estimated that the damage costs are between 60 and $70 billion. And lastly, the death toll reaching more than 100 was devastating. Following Hurricane Ian, as a group, 4Kids wanted our service project to revolve around helping those affected by the hurricane any way possible. We wanted to focus mostly on good health and well-being, as well as helping those who are at a loss. This loss is unfathomable and leaves most residents impoverished without a home, clothes, and any other resources they need to sustain themselves. 4Kids was honored to work with Kiwanis Thrift Store on Fort Myers Beach. Right, so Kiwanis is a nonprofit organization that is ran via a thrift store. Uh, normally what we would do is uh, when the thrift store is open, we would be selling, uh, selling items, probably clothes, furniture, any houseware items, and all profits would go towards uh, kid scholarships. Like every child a swimmer, we would fund little leagues, uh, just, just stuff like that. Uh, we would also do a bunch of scholarships for uh, kids of the area. Like we did, I don't know the exact number, but we did a bunch of scholarships for people going into college. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Kiwanis International, uh, specifically the location located off of Homestead Road in Lehigh Acres. The location of Fort Myers Beach also does great work uh, for their community. Both Kiwanises uh, pr uh, participate in, in fundraisers, scholarships, and most importantly, uh, reselling gently used items such as clothing, furniture, sporting goods, and appliances. Uh, personally, I have been to this Kiwanis on Homestead many a times. Um, they have great items. They take care of their uh, community. And as you see here on the left, they also provide for the local youth. Kiwanis has received extensive damage due to Hurricane Ian. Instead of laying down to the circumstances, they have stepped up to the plate and opened using their parking lot and tents to hang donated clothes and other products. They have been giving all away all clothes and products for free to anyone who needs them. The impact Kiwanis has had on the survivors of Hurricane Ian is insurmountable. Well, this is Eric Tibbs, the president of Fort Myers Beach Kiwanis Club. We've got all of our clothes, men's, women's, kids sitting out in front of our thrift store on the corner of Pine Ridge and Summerlin. They're free to whoever needs it. We just want to be a blessing to our beach community. So please come get some. After Hurricane Ian took a hard hit to our community, the first thing my group and I wanted to do was to help. Our main goal for this project was to come together. I feel Kiwani did that and just so much more. After working along the side of some of their amazing employees, we got the opportunity to work toward bringing back such an amazing thrift store by helping organize, hang up clothes, assist with distributing items, and even making amazing connections. Although Kiwani's has been struggling with keeping open during this hard time, we are so honored to have volunteered with such an amazing organization. Now, how does this connect to civic engagement? During our volunteering experience at Kiwanis, we all felt different elements that guided our volunteering work, but the main one we can all agree on is giving, giving back to the community, and so many after the disaster of Ian. Some of us had suffered much loss as well, and yet that just helped us motivation to start and keep on giving. Along the same lines, we also experienced some leading and leadership skills. For example, we had to organize the donations to figure out a system in order of priority to see when it's to go out and what could wait. Some useful techniques that we managed to experience during our volunteering work were um, some like problem solving, critical thinking, and engagement with members of society as well as our 
keeping a conscious involvement into some of the problems that surround us that otherwise we will be unaware of. We can also all agree that throughout this project we have been able to become more aware about the various challenges others might face. We've gone from being an inactive member to volunteering to now a step closer to being a conscientious citizen who asks why but also how can we help. My biggest takeaway of this project is that there's always something around us going on and we should be more aware and willing to help. After working with my group these past few weeks, this project really showed me how fast things can be taken away from you, and I'm just glad that my group and I got the opportunity to help in every way that we can. After our time at Kiwanis, our group, the four kids Hurricane Relief, can all agree that we have never felt closer as a community than we have after our volunteer work. We definitely felt like we were more conscientious citizens in our community and that we were able to give back after something so tragic. After being affected personally as a group, multiple members in our group um, were affected by the storm. So it felt very personal for us to be able to give back to a community after being helped by that very same community. A big part of our project was connection with each other and with our community, and we could rightfully say that we achieved our goal. From interacting with the public while volunteering at Kiwanis, I learned just how much people need help and service. When catastrophes like Hurricane Ian happen, there is much more than lives lost. People's entire way of living change. There are those who do not even have basic necessities. Kiwanis has done so many amazing things to help Hurricane Ian survivors continue on with their lives with some form of normalcy. There are so many good people out there, ones who strive to help. After all of this, 4Kids wants those watching to understand that there are many who do not have even the simplest of resources. We all need to look around and be thankful for that pair of shoes we have or even that t-shirt. There are many who are not so lucky.